Hi, I'm Angie with Five Rivers Metro Parks. Thank you for joining us for Virtual Bike Month. I'm here today with Laura Estandiak from Bike Miami Valley, and she's gonna be talking to us about the new LINK program. Hey everybody, as Andy said, I'm Laura with Bike Miami Valley and the LINK Dayton Bike Share program. I'm gonna be telling you about the upcoming changes to the LINK Bike Share system uh, when it relaunches in early June. And I'm gonna be demoing our electric bike, pricing. If you want to join early, you can become a founding member, uh, get that discounted rate, and if you're if you're one of the first 50 people, also get your name on one of these e-bikes. So it's a pretty cool offer. We're really excited about it. Um, and today we're just taking your questions. Uh, so if you have any about the program, um, Andy's going to be following your comments and shouting them out. Uh, but first, I'll take you through the e-bike itself. E-Link. They'll be white with green accents. This is our demo bike, so it's got a little bit of orange on it uh, right now, but when 100 bikes arrive, we'll have green tables. The works to help it match, match our brand. See, I've got my helmet and the basket here, uh, and this basket comes with the front light that comes on when the bike is unlocked. features about this bike can adjust the seat to your height. Uh, I know a lot of people who need to open it up all the way. I know a lot of people who got mad at me. I know a lot of people uh, ride with their seat really low but uh, you want that seat to be about hip height when you're riding so you don't uh, injure your knees when you're out there so make sure to adjust your seat before you ride on all the types of bikes. Uh, these e-bikes are single gear our existing green light, green link bikes uh, have a shifter on the right handlebar. On these bikes, it's a bell, so you can whirl that when you're out riding. Let people know you're going to be passing them, uh, etc. That's what that's good for. So these are single gear, and to engage the motor, all you have to do is pedal, and the bike will assist you. If you don't want any more assist, stop pedaling, and the bike will listen to you. Turn off. Um, the bikes assist up to 15 miles per hour. Uh, should you go above that speed, the bikes will stop assisting you and you'll be all on your own. Well, uh, the e-bikes are really fun. We can't wait for you to try them. Uh, we're really sad that we can't do a lot of demos right now uh, in person, but uh, we hope these video uh, demos serve, serve a similar purpose. Any questions so far? Alright, well, we'll just keep rolling here. Um, what I'll do is demo how the bikes get checked out uh, and returned. So what I'm doing, uh, our app is essentially the Drop Mobility app, which is our new provider, but with our brand over it. It's called Link Dayton. You can find it in your app store. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the, the Drop app. And essentially, you'll open it up. You'll be able to see all of the bikes that are available in their various hubs and you just press the scan button at the bottom of your app, hold it over the QR code which is on the frame here and it will find the bike. Right now it's asking me if I want to use a free credit that I have on my phone so one of the deals right now uh, as part of the founding membership are those, those free credits um, so you can use, use those if you, if you register. So yeah, I'm going to use that, and it gives me a little like safety information, and then I press let's ride. And so GPS signals are going to talk to each other. Uh, I do have Bluetooth enabled on my phone. That's how you figure out that you are close to, to the bike and not unlocking it from a remote location. 
information, but if you heard, uh, the wheel lock unlocked just now. Normally this bike would be tied to a bike rack, so you would just take that cable off around the bike rack. We're in this position to avoid the wind, so hopefully that's not a problem for you. And essentially I'm on my trip now. So when you're on a trip, uh, you have some options. Uh, you can see other hubs to go to. Uh, you can add a stop. So essentially that allows you to pause your ride. So if you're on um, our day pass or if you have a pay as you go pass, you can pause your ride. So essentially that means the bike is still on your account, you're still accruing time, but it can't be checked out by anybody else. So you can tie it up somewhere, pause your ride, run in, do your errand, come back out. So that's a cool new feature of the system. So let's say I've ridden around, I want to end my trip, come to the bike rack at the hub. You want to put the cable around the rack. I like to put it on this side of the wheel lock so it doesn't interfere with the little locking mechanism here. Close it up, and then I'm going to press uh, end trip in the app. So you may be asking, how do, how do you know that you tied that cable to that bike rack? Well, at the end of it, we ask you to submit a photo. So it comes up with the camera, take a picture of it, hit submit, and you're done with your trip. Uh, you'll also have the option to rate your trip. So you can have up to three stars of success. You can do that or not do that. It doesn't really matter, but it does help uh, the feedback for, for the system. So I'm going to give us three stars, hit submit, and I can walk away. Laura? It sounds like with this you can go run an errand um, and maybe you're running a quick errand and then you're going to run a few more so you could um, leave the bike for a little while sitting and then come back to it. You'll know that it'll be there. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, that's right. So you can essentially um, lock it up with that pause feature while you go run your errand and the bike will not show up as available to anybody else when you do that. And how long does that pause give you? How much time do you have? Uh, you can really have as much time as you need. Um, so, but if you're on a pay-as-you-go pass, you pay per minute. So okay. you want to be very quick. Uh, but if you have our day pass, which gives you a four-hour window of ride time, um, you essentially can pause it you know, as much time as you want within that four-hour window. All right. So you could go to the library, and if you got stuck in there for longer than expected, your bike would still be there when you came out. Awesome. Yeah, and if you're an annual member or one of our 90-day members, uh, you get 80 minutes of ride time with the Green Link bikes. Their lock will be on uh, the shroud of those, so that's where you'll lock those um, with the cable that's going to be installed. Uh, and for those ones, you can pause those, you get 80 minutes of ride time a day for those. And then with the e-bikes, um, it's 10 cents per minute on your trip versus 15 with the PHP Pass. Nice. Anybody out there have any questions about the Link Bike Share program? Yeah, so to find out more uh, information on the program, uh, you can visit linkdayton.org. We have an FAQ page up there that lays out uh, more of the pricing info and more detail. Uh, if you want to get a look at the special offer, uh, you can download the Link Dayton app. Just search Link Dayton in your app store, or you can also get to it from our website. Uh, linkdayton.org. Find that info. Be sure to download and then you can see the special offer um, to join early. Nice. All right, we do have some people watching, so we have a question. Uh, Danielle wants to know when will the system launch? So uh, we're looking at early June uh, for our launch date. You know, obviously everything is dependent on the interesting times that, that we're living in. Uh, but that's our goal, that, that's our target. Um, and so just follow us on social media or join our newsletter uh, on our website, linkdate.org. So to find out more details of when that exact date will be is the answer. All right, but the end of June, unless we hear early June. Early June. Awesome. Yeah. We hope that that is what will happen. <laughs> we'll <laughs> all be out well. riding. We've, we've certainly missed the bikes being out there. I was telling somebody earlier that uh, I, I know the out of my house and think, oh, I'll take a link bike there. 
right now. Uh, we have a we have another question from Tim, and he wants to know where will these bikes be located. Great question. Thank you, Tim. So, um, in this first phase of the bike share, uh, you'll be able to find them in the existing link location. So there are 27 of those right now uh, throughout downtown and the surrounding neighborhoods at the University of Dayton campus. Uh, our furthest west is in Wright Dunbar. Uh, the furthest east right now is in St. Anne's Hill. North is in uh, Grafton Hill, the Pearson Town area, and south uh, is on the edge of the Dayton Oakwood Quarter, where Ben and Jerry's is. Awesome. But uh, one of the goals of switching to this system is uh, the, the ability to be able to add new locations. So again, continue to watch us uh, for those announcements uh, that'll be coming out later this summer. And I think you said that uh, outside of the link stations, even just bike racks like this, you might find them in? Yeah, so one of the cool features is that we can take uh, existing infrastructure and essentially put a geofence or a virtual fence around it in the app and then that now becomes the designated parking area for the bikes. Cool, and Tim says thanks. Thank you, Tim. We appreciate you guys watching, um, sharing these these stories. Uh, we appreciate all the support during this time. Um, I know we want to thank the Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission for sponsoring Bike Month. Uh, their program, Go Ohio Commute, is super awesome. You can sign up uh, at Go Ohio Commute. Go Ohio Commute. Uh, I can't remember if it's a dot com or a dot org, honestly, but I'm sure you can figure that out by googling it. <laughs> um, but if you go there and register, uh, you can get a lot of cool perks from that. So if you're a bike commuter, they have this guaranteed ride home program. Uh, something should happen on your ride home from work or maybe something happens at work and you can't pedal home. Um, you can use that program to help get yourself back. So that, that's a cool thing that, that they offer through that program and something that we like to share with everyone. But Link's a great way to get around town, uh, visit some of your favorite destination, whether you're going to a restaurant or if you're getting yourself to work, it has a lot of uses. Um, and we have a lot of people that use it recreationally too, to just get out and enjoy the benefits of biking, the physical and mental health benefits. So we thank you guys for, for your support. Thanks. Any other questions? Or yeah, we have another question coming in from Sydney. Um, Actually, it's a statement. Uh, Sydney says Dayton is pretty progressive on transportation, excla exclamation mark. So yes. Yeah, that's very true. Um, we were one of the first systems to have a very formal partnership with our transit authority. So kudos to Greater Dayton RTA, our operational partner. For those of you who may not know, uh, they take care of the, the bikes. job at that and they were very forward thinking very early on recognizing that bike share is a first and last mile solution for transit um, you know as a fixed route transit system they're always trying to figure out ways to make it easier for people to get to uh, their bus stop or to get from their bus stop to their final destination and bike share is a great way to to do that so we thank them for for their support so awesome comment uh, Danielle asks, how many e-bikes will there be? So we'll be getting 100 uh, e-bikes to add to the existing fleet of 225 green bikes. So great question. We're super excited to, to add them. And are there any restrictions on where you can ride the e-bikes? So right now it would be um, in our existing service area. So those boundaries I kind of spoke of before uh, out in Wright Dunbar and St. Anne's Hill. And maybe if folks aren't um, familiar with e-bikes, um, what can you tell us about e-bikes specifically? Yeah, so um, electric bikes, a lot of people, when you say an electric bike, they think of a moped, like that's what comes to mind. But really they're designed 
terms of look and mimic the feel of riding a bicycle. We're um, super attracted to them because they get more people riding bikes. Uh, if you're recovering from an injury or maybe you're just getting older and wants, still want to stay in the sport of spike, cycling, um, it will help your longevity in that in that activity. Um, they're also a great way to just get into biking in general. You know, we have a lot of people who may be nervous about riding in traffic. One thing that the e-bike does is that it gets you up to speed pretty quickly. Um, so you may not feel like, oh man, I just like every time I'm stopped at a light, it's like so much work to to get going again. Um, so they make people feel more comfortable when they're out riding. Uh, if you're a bike commuter and you have a big hill on your way home and that's been your barrier uh, to biking to work more often, uh, an e-bike can be a great solution for that. So you have that comfort of knowing that I'm gonna be able to tackle that hill even if I've had the hardest day of my life at work. <laughs> uh, they can provide a great solution. So, uh, but yeah, they essentially have a motor that assists when you pedal. So there's no throttle, at least on this particular bike. Uh, you do have to pedal to get the benefit from the motor. And a lot of people ask me what it's like to ride an e-bike, and it really is very, it's just like riding a bike, but you just have this little booster helping you, uh, helping you go. Yeah, I, you can feel it kick in, but it's not like turbo or anything, you know? Like you can feel it, but it's nothing, not too much speed. I mean, these bikes have a pretty decent um, kick to them, I will say. So it's just a light pedal stroke, so all you need. <laughs> uh, but they are a, lo a lot of fun. Nice. All right, any other questions out there? Yeah, we thank you guys for joining and for watching. Again, I'm Laura with Bike Miami Valley uh, and the Link Bike Share program, talking about the new system and the 100 e-bikes we're getting. Any other questions? Think we want to wrap it up for a, for a Wednesday? Sure. Thank you guys for joining. <laughs> And thank you for joining us for Virtual Bike Month presented by Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission. Be sure to tune in next week and we will be doing our Facebook Live uh, on bike commuter setups. So you can see a couple of different options for how to set your bike up for commuting. Thanks.